Morning guys, we are at Jolly Boys here in Livingston, Zambia, and this morning we're gonna go see some elephants, this afternoon we're gonna go jump off a bridge, and this evening we're gonna go take some pictures. I'm thinking you were made for me, it's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me, wrapped up nice and neat, babe. So five years ago here in Livingston, I did something I've always regretted. Okay, five years ago I did something I regret, five years ago in Zambia I rode elephants. Now I'm telling you that from the future because as you probably saw, the clip I filmed in Zambia was just my face. I want to explain. I rode elephants in Africa. I rode elephants in Zambia five years ago before I kind of realized or came to the conclusion that it's just not cool. Unlike the elephants in Southeast Asia, the elephants in Zambia that I rode back in the day aren't abused to get the people to do what they want the elephants to do. They only use positive reinforcement techniques. And on top of it, all the elephants are also rescues. They were rescued from the cull of elephants in Zimbabwe. They were rescued as orphan babies. So it seemed kind of, it seemed okay. But obviously I was naive. I am a naive person in general. That's just kind of how I am. And riding elephants is, it's never cool. It's just not cool. Petting tigers is not cool. If you go onto Tinder and you see a picture of somebody riding an elephant or petting a tiger, swipe whichever way you swipe to deny them because it's not cool. But I, I did ride an elephant and I've always regretted it. And I rode an elephant at this exact place I'm standing in today's episode. The place is now called the Elephant Cafe. They used to ride elephants here, but nowadays they've come to the same conclusion that riding elephants just isn't cool. So they've turned this place into the Elephant Cafe, and the Elephant Cafe is a sanctuary for the elephants that they used to ride to live. They're also totally free to go run across the river if they want, to swim across the river and go feed on the island. It's now a sanctuary, which is totally better than a place to ride elephants. And tourists can still have interactions with the elephants, although very, very brief ones. And the tourists can feed them and interact with them really, really quickly, and then the tourists go into this beautiful beautiful cafe and have lunch. And I think it's a really good compromise because you do have these rescued elephants that really can't go back to the wild because they're way too habituated to humans. And you do have a business that survives on the elephants being there. So I do think it's a, a maybe not a sus totally, totally, totally sustainable way of doing it, but it is a good compromise at the very least. So um, I'm going to end that there. Feel free to discuss in the comments whatever you want to discuss. And let's get back to Zambia. Baby. Chunk up. Where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked. Feel like everything that has a cherry on top. Oh, you're hungry. Get on my list of the things. Chunk up, Danny. Yeah. That's it for you. Bye, guys. So we're done with the elephants. The elephants are going back out into the field. It's good to see, um, you know, companies doing something that maybe was unethical um, and twisting it around into something a little bit better. Um, it was an incredible experience. I shot all of the footage and all of the photos on the 16 to 35. That's how close we were. Some wide angle elephant photography this morning. I think we're heading back into town, you know, maybe lazy by the pool, and then uh, we're gonna go jump off a bridge. Okay, so here's the deal. We are actually across the Zambian border and heading towards Zimbabwe on foot. Not because we're officially going into Zimbabwe, 
but because we are gonna potentially jump off a bridge. I've done this actually many times before, but you guys know how Jody and I always forget something. We took it to another level because when we left the car behind in Botswana, we left all the micro SD cards. So I can't really film on the GoPro because there's no micro SD card in it. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to film this experience. Potentially the people at the bungee jump um, will be able to capture it for us because they do shoot video. The zip line might be the coolest way to get from one country to another. You start on the Zambian side, you end on the Zimbabwe side, and uh, I think that's what we're gonna do first because Jody is not into, uh, into bungee jumping, are you? No. We'll see how I feel after the zip line, but yeah, I guess we'll, we'll figure it out when we get up there. Managed to borrow a micro SD card from the video crew here, so I'm going old school styles, GoPro. Jody and I are actually gonna tandem slide across the border. survived and I think probably the scariest part of uh, the swing is getting to the end and you're just like hanging off the bridge um, as they unload you that's the the scariest part isn't the slide it's literally when you're done <laughs> Jody welcome to Zimbabwe Okay, survived the bungee. Jody survived the slide with me. And uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling really good. I was kind of thinking, you know what? I've done the bungee a bunch of times. I don't need to do it again. And then did it, and so, so glad I did it. Now we're gonna go visit one of the seven wonders of the world. Okay, we're in the park. We're at Victoria Falls. It's 5 p.m. They kick you out of here at 6. Sunset is 6.30, uh, so we don't have a ton of time uh, and we can't shoot, you know, the beautiful sunset light if there is beautiful sunset light. When you can't shoot sunset, I find that shooting the details is something that's really important. And when you're at a place like Victoria Falls, I think shooting the details in general is really important because there's a million photos made of the big wide open shot, the big hero image, everybody's done it but you can still sell images if you can do something a little bit different. And I think the details, that's the difference. That's what sells. So um, that's what we're gonna look for. third time at Victoria Falls and I've never gotten a really really great photo because the first time I was here five years ago there was way too much water you were just getting covered in water here and we're even getting covered right now when I was there two years ago there was no water absolutely no water coming down here right now it's kind of like the perfect mix of water but not so much mist that I think maybe potentially I can get a couple cool photos here. I'm looking for something simple. I'm just looking for a tree or something that will kind of stand out in the photo amongst all the water. So I might try to work with some patterns but ideally I'd like to find just one single tree or something like that. So we'll keep exploring and see if we can find that. First and the second and the third and the rest of Yeah. 
Good news is I found a tree. The bad news is I'm having a real battle trying to build some compositions around it. The tree looks good. It's just the way the water's falling just doesn't, I, I don't know, it just doesn't give any drama to the, to the tree. And I don't know if I have to move and try to find a different angle or just kind of keep playing with my compositions, but I think I gotta do something a little bit different. I've got the 100 to 400 millimeter on. No filters because I'm not using any sky. It's just details. I'm getting about a half second exposure and it, yeah, it looks great. It looks really good. It's just, I'm not stoked with the composition. So I'm gonna keep working on this and hopefully come up with something by the end of it. Okay, done because they're kicking us out. I don't think I got it. I don't know, to be honest, I worked on it for so long and I think maybe that when I see it on a computer, I'll like it better, but I don't love it for sure. I definitely don't love it, but it's just good to get the camera out on something other than animals. Don't get me wrong, I love wildlife photography and don't get me wrong, there's gonna be some wildlife photography coming over the next couple days down back in Botswana and back in South Africa but there will also be some landscapes coming up. So I'm looking forward to the landscapes. Overall, even without a photo, it's been an amazing day. Jody kind of got over her fear of elephants. I jumped off a bridge, crossed from Zambia to Zimbabwe on a string, and took photos of one of the wonders of the world. You can't really beat that, can you? And I guess I'll leave you guys there. It's been awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow as we head back to Botswana. Peace.